Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over mid journey applications, just showing how you can start, what kind of tips and tricks you can use it to get it most out of this. And general, what is mid journey? First, mid journey applications, a generative application that allowed create AI art or AI images to generate it for you. Currently, it's many other services similar to mid journey. For example, like Leonardo AI, which allowed you to create from different models, generate images. One of the most popular that create a lot of buzz before it's a DALI and DALI 2. And some of this you can run locally on your machine with using open source stable diffusion. Mid journey is run on a discord as a front end and you can download this application, which is run on mobile devices or cross platform, but also you can access directly from your web, but access will be again to the discord and from discord, you will join the channel to join the channel. You need going to the midjourney.com, which is bring you to this kind of page. And right here, you can see on the bottom, you have a join the beta. Midjourney is still considered as a beta version or sign in. If you don't have an account, you need to join beta first by clicking on the button, which will bring you to the main page. Notice on a Discord um, interface, and let's look a little bit over this interface for those people who is not very familiar. We won't go into much details, it's just general overview. On the far left side, you'll notice right here, it is icons for different channels. You may have a few, you may have it many of them. Next to this, you'll see the, the chat groups. And important things about these chat groups, they have it some is kind of very highly recommended to check on them. And other ones, it's up to you if you have a time. What I recommend for you to check like announcements, if we click on announcements, you'll notice right here, we'll have it latest news. And some news is kind of uh, very nice about new versions, what changes was done. And currently right here, you can notice we have the latest change that is trials is re enabled and understanding what trials, it's meaning you can go in and test before you start playing with applications. For some time, it was a free trial. I think you can create like 20 images, but after this, you'll need pay. And this is what stand also made journey from other applications. It was completely pay. So for some time, you cannot generate anything till you actually purchase some of the plan. And we'll come back to these different plans a little bit later. Let's go back to our um, interface. So right here we have our announcements. We also have some changes. Other ones important without pay attention to the status. Status is tell you what is current condition for the Discord service or for mid journey specifically services. And this let you know if for some reason you try to render, it does not render fast enough or other things or some other errors happening. You can check here, see if it's maintenance running or any other server downtime. Also below you can have it um, get started, which will give you to the information how to work with a mid journey. Again, it's recommending to read or you can watch video. Personally, I prefer to watch video tutorials then, but I still read manuals. So it's kind of combinations, but whatever you prefer to do. We also have the welcome and notice we have a trial support, even trial kind of discontinue, except this week, uh, if I'm right, it just, again, the trial is going for this weekend. I think they have to see how it's what happened with the trials. So you can go this way as well. If you have any questions, you can go to member support and type there. Notice it's have plenty of moderators online and you can ask direct questions. You can also send private messages. If you don't want to post it in a group chat, notice when I say group chat, it's mean me, all people, all users can see what you posted here. So be careful. Don't post any personal information. If you have any of the personal questions, you can click and chat directly with moderators or send ask messages. Below is also like newbie room. If you start something, testing the cloud of the uh, how many images you render. Uh, I'm currently, I think, 37,000. So they don't even have a club for this. 
and optional chats, feedback, community. You can go over a group and find some of this. Down below, you'll notice this is general image generated group. So when you click on the one of these, you'll notice it's many different images with render because people will type prompt and will they will generate images. The things was this problem with this because it's accessible by many, many people. You notice the texts are scrolling and if you try to use it, this area, it will get lost very easy and very fast. For this, what I recommend you to do for you, it's on the right side, you'll see right here, it says Meet Journey Boat. Right click on this and select Message. This is, will open for you a special area where it just only you can submit the commands to the robot and you can see this does not make them private images it just isolated just individual only your work and you can speak with the send commands and view your images it's mostly how i work with me journey by utilizing this individual chat you can also create your own discord service and invite a robot to this discord service and then you and maybe friends who is on your chat, you can kind of share your creation and work together. So it's more like team collaboration. And to do this, first you need to create your server on a Discord, which is free. And after the same, you go to Mid Journey. But on this case, on this time, left click, it's open the menu and click on Add to the server. After this, you can select what server you want to the add the robot and that way you'll have an area to chat but to do all of this you actually need purchase account so let's go back to our account and see what plans we have the mid journey start with a ten dollars a month plan which allowed you to do at least 200 images per month you do have it on all plans you will have a commercial right so it's mean the images you created you can sell integrated in your other job or do whatever you want it as full commercial rights but keep in mind that by current state and again it's a current state this may change any time any artwork that generated by ai consider as public domain i'll have it another video about going how you can work around some of those copyright issues but general just keep in mind if you render images Anybody technically can take this image and use it in their work. If you want, don't want people to do this, then with Mid Journey you have options to add special security, uh, secret kind of if, um, cover for this. So what is meaning? It's a your images will be private; they won't be showing to the public. And when I says show it to the public. Notice if you're going and explore community feed, you can see all of these images that people was created and you can view them. You can also go search by the images, search by the creator, and you can, if they're publicly available, you can go access and see all those works. However, if you're going to select the plan that will have it privacy on, or you can turn privacy later and purchase for additional $10, then this image is not visible. So people don't have access to those images. And by the way, at right now, if you enable privacy mode, you generate images and you remove privacy mode after those images that were created in privacy mode, they still be private. So they still be, you don't need to continue paying to keep them private. Okay, next we have it, um, access to member gallery. It's what, uh, what I was doing, accessing. You have it, some optional credits. Um, if you run out of hours and what is meaning run out of hours it's assigned so much GPU time for you to use if you overuse it you actually need to purchase more or you need to in pay additional money if you think you will use it too many hours you can go with $30 a month which give you unlimited relaxed generation and what is mean relaxed generations it is um, low priorities so it will be take a little bit longer to wait for your image render but it will you can render literally unlimited amount of images as you want it personally i would recommend if you just started going with a little bit more expensive like 30 dollars a month plan and the reason for this that you know precisely how much you will render you will be very excited you will use a lot of 
time and this is will give you unlimited i'll show you how to be sure you in a relaxed mode because if you're not in relaxed mode you will start using your gpu time which is again can be slowed down afterwards so we'll explain this when we come to interface but notice this this is a plan will give you kind of unlimited the rest is very similar to ten dollars and sixty dollars this is more for the corporate kind of use notice right here you have a stealth image or privacy one thing i need to mention for you privacy images does not allow you to create not safe for work um, images and this is very strict on a mid journey mid journey utilize different filters that it monitor for the string amp input like for example if you type nude your image will says after moderator comment says hey this is forbidden word so the actual moderating quite a bit and not allowed you to use it some images that is not safe for workplace if you're interested for more open type of the render then you can search online different like mage.ai or other services sorry it's mage.space which allowed you to generate with all these different type of the models and you can also render not safe for workplace um, images here as well okay so right now let's go look a little bit on interface as I mentioned before mid journey utilize use of a discord interface it's meaning you can run on multiple platforms you can run on multiple OS's you can run in application or web and this is very good flexibility even it's give you kind of different feel that from web-based applications personally i do like because i can use it cross platforms i can use it on my mobile device ios and i can use it on my pc at home and it's all same but it is produce some limitation to this one of the limitation for example we look on leonardo.ai which is web-based it is you cannot utilize in painting or out painting because for this require different um, interface however you can still work with images in this application so you can still have a photo and work on a photo inside but it does limit it to you to the some options next it's a different usage of the model it's what i'm meaning by model if you look on some other services they have it all these different type of models available here the same if we look on leonardo you notice they have all different type of models which allow you to generate different type of images and it's very specialized to this specific area with um, mid journey you actually have it only two types currently it is general mid journey which is actually a very smart done model it's look on the prompt what you're using and based on this dynamically utilize specific type of the model to generate or another one's called niji and this is an anime specific model so if you want to generate any anime style images you can use it ninja you can create ninja as separate robot or you can use it the flag for this so let's look next you'll notice on the bottom we have our prompt this prompt it's where we give it usually you chat in discord when you type but when you work with a boat with a mid journey boat we need to give it specific command and those commands is what they're looking for command start with a backslash like this and you notice as you type you have it all of this many information come up all this special command it's more command that's showing you don't need to worry about remember all of them the one command i will you definitely will use most of the time it's called imagine and this is because it's trigger robot and tell render whatever string i provide after based on this text so for example if i go ahead and type imagine and we'll call plastic doll what is happening now i tell the robot to go ahead and create images with plastic doll and look after this this is a flags or commands that tell specific information to mid journey we'll look on these flags in a second but don't worry about using them that much because they're a little bit more advanced and they specify some formatting maybe aspect rate show and some how much image you want involved or randomness stylization so it's many things you can specify but you don't need to 
because if you saw before, I just type it plastic doll and it start to render for me. So this is one command which has allowed you to render. Notice as it's rendering, this one is what I kind of recommend to pay attention. It says fast because I'm personal on $30 plan, which allowed me to use the relax or fast mode, fast going against my GPU time. And but I'm using fast because it's uh, the fast process for videos and tutorials. But if you don't want to use it, just pay attention so you don't burn through your hours to your GPU time if you utilize this. So and right here you can see we render it's all time will render four different images for you. So four different types and it's rendered because using different seed random seed for this. You can click on the image to preview. You can also right here, you can see open in browser, which open image itself. And you can download it, this image directly from there. Also, if you don't want download image from that area, you can also go to mejourney.com app web interface, where you see all your images that you render at home. And then you can click on the select button, select images that you want downloaded and downloaded them directly from your web interface. Web interface is very powerful and we'll check this shortly after this. Right here is our images, but you notice they're all four together. We can upscale them or actually uh, create separate images. Before in early versions of Mid Journey, when you generate it, it generates thumbnail. And when you click upscale, it will take GPU time. So right now with version 5 and 5.1, it's actually generated them already upscale. So if you click on upscale button and U, it's represent as upscale for this image. It's meaning it does not utilize your GPU time. It will take already render image and bring up. So you actually already paid for the generating of those images with your GPU time. So to upscale them we can look down below and you can see these buttons U it sets for upscale and it's going this way image one top left top right image two bottom left image three bottom right image four so if i want to upscale this image one i'll press U one and you notice it's come up and says it's upscaling and it's a highlight there you go. Notice how fast it was to upscale because the image already was upscaling. So next, for example, I want to upscale this image and we're going one, two, three, four. So it's U3. I can click on this and it's again, start upscaling for me. And there you go. Now it's image upscale. If I click on this image, this is again, our full image and we can preview full size of the image. The currently size, if we look on model version five, it is 1024 by 1024 resolution. It could be a little bit different if you're using this different aspect ratio, but general amount of the pixels will be equal to the square. Notice different versions will some allow you even upscale to higher resolution, like Niji, and this is original Niji, not Niji five, or test P, or high, but there's a, using the little bit older and upscale to this, it will utilize reused also your fast time or GPU. And actually, in the fact, I'll show you a little bit later when you try to upscale and you're in a relaxed mode, it's tell you you need to switch to the fast mode to using this upscale version. All this additional information you can find in uh, Mid Journey documentation, the manual. And you can access not just at this table, you can access to many other helpful tips. Okay, let's go back to our image and you can notice this is 1024 by 1024. If you want to upscale this image to the higher scale, I highly recommend to use the gigapixels um, upscaler. I will put a link down below for you. It's what I used all the time. It's utilized AI technology to upscale image and give you not just sharpness, but also add some details based on the image. Okay, let's go back to here. And this is our images that we render. So next to this, if you notice it's a button and it's using like recycle or reuse, and this is reuse the text prompt. So if we click on text prompt, it will generate it. 
notice in my screen it's pop up the window where I can modify the prompt if I need it. If I don't, I'll just click submit. I'll show you in a second how you can customize if you want this pop up window or don't. Below we have it V, it's different versions to create. Right now, when I click reuse, kind of relaunch, redo again that prompt, it's will redo all four. But if I like one specific image, like for example, image four, I can click on this, it will same open this remix prompt. We have it everything, but I will also have it a reference to the seed for this image. And then I can click submit on this as well. So it will take it just this image and create different versions of this image. So let's scroll down and preview. Right here, you notice this is generate all different based when I click um, recreate all these images. So it's give it all these different variations for these images. And below it's when it says give me variations just for the this one image. So let's look right here. This is versions. We just try to different versions of images. And if we click again, reuse, this is will again create different one because it will use the random seed. This is a nice way for you to experiment and see if you find image that better match what you want to do. This is one way. Another one, you always can go and modify your text string to have it better descriptive and showing what you needed. So let's look on this and you can see right here we have it same looking but we have it slightly different variations of this image that we select before on the versions. So let's see how we can access to some of the settings. We did imagine that is one command. Another one command I will recommend to use it. It's forward slash settings. What settings command does, it will open this kind of menu where you can see all of these buttons. So let's go over them. Top, this is MG, it's a mid journey version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 1, Ra, Niji, and Niji 5. This is all different type of the rendering. Notice it's one of the green, it's mean what I selected. So at this time, and this is important to kind of remember, if I select mid journey 2, wherever I render or whatever I create after this, without even specify what versions, it will be generated in this version that's selecting here in the six. And this is interesting to re uh, kind of important to remember for you because if for some reason you have some different versions coming up, it's probably you select here. You can always override those versions later. And for this reason, I recommend just select version you think you will use it the most. For me, it's version 5.1 is what I'm going to use. And this is what I selected. Below, you have a different quality. And some of them will render much faster, some slower. The quality, it will in this case, if you utilize um, different like stable diffusion, it will refer to the sampling steps, if you're familiar with this. But in this case, the preset health quality, it's about um, 20 probable steps. Base quality, usually it's around 50 steps and high quality, it's about 75 to 100. I'm not sure about what mid journey, but it just reference approximated. High quality will provide more details, but it's cost twice as more for the GPU time. So be careful how you use it. However, you can still using in a relax mode this as well. Next, you have a stylization and stylization, how much freedom you allow to your um, computer to AI to utilize working. Usually by default, it's a medium stylization, but you can try give it higher stylization. So it's give it more flexibility to create. For example, let's go with us low stylizations and we'll just type imagine red ball. Notice as I'm done, it's right here says S50 because I select that stylization. So let's go ahead and try very high stylization and we'll same imagine red ball. So notice right here, my stylization is 750. 
Again, if you have questions more about sterilization, everything I would recommend you to going and check a little bit more in the um, mid-journey documentations with some examples here, but we're going over as well to show you what's going on, but documentation is always nice reference. Next below, you can see it's public or a stealth mode, private mode. If you enable private mode, what's happening here, it's come up text and says your currently membership does not include it. You can go ahead and purchase this. So you cannot even the display here, but you cannot select this. Next, you remember I showed the windows when it's pop up and ask for the remix things. This is what does remix mode. If I uncheck remix mode and click not right now, it does not pop up windows, but it start to regenerate this. Personally, I like enable remix mode because I just like to change screen sometimes, just maybe tweak and adjust some areas. Next, you can see it's a fast and relaxed mode. Relax modes will take a little bit longer, but it will don't go against your GPU time and it does not count. So you can render literally unlimited amount of images in relax mode but it's take a little bit longer. So let's go right here. So I select relax mode and let's go to imagine um, porcelain night. So we'll just writing unicorn. So we'll just try to create this way. Okay, I'll go copy so we can test. And this is a running on the relax mode. Okay, next I'm going to select to the fast mode so we can preview. And we're going to pay same in a fast mode. So notice right here what we're doing. We have it our run first, this one in the relax mode. And second, we run in our fast mode. And you notice right here our fast mode already start processing. And the relax mode still kind of waiting for the GPU time. So it's priority a little bit lower. And there is a start right now. So the fast one and relax just started. Overall, how I say, I don't see that big difference currently between uh, relax and fast mode. And because you can render three images at same time and 10 can be queued for this. I'll show you in a second what I mean by queued then you can always just stack more relax mode and wait as they're going along. Okay, and right here it's done. And you can see this is our relax mode or fast and this is relaxed. It's no different in quality of the render between both of them. It just different will be in a time which one will be faster, which one will going a little bit slower. So another command I would recommend you to kind of remember it is called info. And info, it's take all information about your current account and showing what currently you have. Notice right here, this is showing my name, my subscription, whether it's renew, what I'm currently mod in. And this is important because I'm in a fast mode. It's meaning I'm going to utilize my fast render time. And by default on $30, you have it 15 hours of GPU time. And personally, I hardly can run over those hours. It's a lot of GPU time currently. Uh, before when I used upscale, it does run over quite a bit, but right now this way. So I'm even don't use the relax mode that much anymore, but it also related amount how I'm rendering because I'm using different services like Leonardo, like my local stable diffusion installations, I am utilizing less of mid journey. If mid journey will be your primarily tool to generate images, then you probably want to watch a little bit closer to the relax time or other things. And next you can see it's a lifetime just statistic. For example, I rendered 32,000 images so far, 23 of them was in relax mode. And this is other ones is how many jobs currently in a queue and how many jobs processing right now I don't have it any but you can queue up to 10 jobs so it's meaning they're not processing but the waiting in this very important because I can go ahead and type multiple strings and process so let me give you example let's go ahead right here we type imagine 
and uh, this time to showing you some of this effect i will use what they call permutation permutation in mid journey it's allowed you to use a different strings and see how it's and process through all of them so what let me show you right here i open a square bracket and i say cat dog bunny fox okay and closing so it's still generate four times one with cat one with dog one with bunny one with fox and we have it furry baby animals playing in the forest one thing what i want to do is stylize this as a watercolor and actually stylization i find out if you put first it's have a higher priority so i want watercolor illustration type i want this playing in the forest okay and a green bright happy this emotional description and one other things i will introduce another option for you it's a ratio aspect ratio notice all of this square but sometimes square does not necessarily work very well sometimes you want to do panoramic sometimes you want to do landscape mode so in this case i will have it new special flag or options that they tell what format i want to do for this we'll go dash dash all of this the flag will start with dash dash next ar with space for aspect ratio you must have a space between and this is our special command or flag that is tell after this we'll send parameters and parameters i want to give it a resolution and this will go width and height so i will give it 16 by 9 so it's my aspect ratio next we'll go ahead press enter because i'm using multiple variants right here for it's tell me are you sure you want to use it four prompts for this template yes i'm going to click on this okay as well start generating them notice it's create all of them and this time if i go and i type info you'll notice it says quantity one and a q and three of them rendering right now right there we can preview how they render and after they completed they take next job from the queue and start processing so let's see what we have you remember what we said we said they create okay let's look on a template our template was watercolor cat dog baby notice this one it's permutation it's mean how uh what i want i want to go through all of the strings but i want in one have it poppy which is right here okay next i want to have it bunny right there i want to have it cat is right there and one other ones will be fox so we'll see this in a second as i mentioned before they all already render in a larger size so you don't spend any gpu time if you want to upscale and that's what i'm going i'm going to upscale two from here I'm going to upscale one from here, maybe two, and I'm going, I like border color, so we'll upscale two from there. Let's go down, and you can see right here our upscales is ready. And it does look what I ask at this illustration watercolor, bunny in a green forest. So it's precisely what I want to do. And it's a nice way to create illustrations for maybe your book cover whatever you want or just the artwork if you need to do this so let's go ahead and type one more time info because i want to see what's happening next and notice right there it says all done so yeah we render all of them we render right here actually running job we have it with a fox so we still have it one more to go okay till it's render sometimes you may forget what command we use it you can always rewatch this video or i will provide link down below can go access to this manual and you can see right here command list which is give you way bigger list of all commands that you can use it don't worry about remember any of them usually i found i use the literally handful of the command at most next you also if you're going down you can find some 
effect of parameters. And parameters, it's what I was saying with aspect ratio. Um, again, chaos, no, don't worry about this, or quality, you can preset. So again, it's a lot of stuff here. Uh, seeds, stylizations, I would highly recommend for you to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet done. So it's helped me. And beside that, in my channel, I have a special videos how to go and work with all of these commands. So you can see specifically what power of using seed, what power to using specific stylizations and add more and more options to this because this is kind of we we'll look on a mid journey application to start you working with mid journey, but it is very powerful and constantly upgrading, constantly expanding its features applications. Okay, so right here we have our documentation and let's go back to our rendering. So till everything is processed, let's look on some other couple commands what we can use it. And one is very fun. It's when you can use it somebody else photo and you can use it, create art, base it around this photo. To add the photo to the server, you need to go utilize the Discord upload. So it is utilizing Discord. It's not uh, building an app like on some other ones. For this, we'll go on a plus right here, down below, click. And you can see right here says upload file. So let's go ahead and click on that. Next, to navigate image, you want to use it and click open. You can see image is right here, but we still need to press enter to be sure this image is uploaded. I'm using free Discord, so I limited to how many images I can upload at one time and size of the images. If you need to upload a many images at the same time, you can upload it a multiple of them or very large size, then you probably want to use it, the pay surface service with a Discord. But keep in mind that you still limit it on a size by 1024 by 1024 in a mid journey. And sometimes it does not worth it to upload it 8000 pixels image if your resolution is lower. So right here we have an image uploaded. Let's go click on this. When it's open preview, right click on PC, it says copy image address. On a Mac, I think it says just copy image. And this is we have it information. By the way, here's our fox that we did before. And actually, it's come up very cute and nice. Okay, so let's go ahead next. What we want to do is type imagine. And then this time, we paste that path for the image we just created. So next, let's go type. And I'm going to type ice queen. Just to name what I want to see the person. And for now, let's go ahead, press enter. What it's actually going to do, it will create an um, image, but we'll use a base is image we put it together. So as it's doing, let's go type again, imagine. And now I paste again, ice queen. But one thing what I'm noticing, it's a square because we did not specify aspect ratio and it's way important. So I go put it aspect ratio and I'm putting two by three. So I want to have it the similar, what is a photo, both sides. So let's go ahead and press this one. We're creating one way. And you can also utilize additional options. You can utilize, like for example, image weight, how much you want to be closer to original image or how much you want to change. And I will provide link for you where I specifically went over all these photo options, how you can create the perfect portrait in mid journey based on a photo. It took me some time to experiment with all this stuff, but you can watch this video and go forward with this. Notice right here we have it. Our image is created and it is basically on the image that we imported on a face or a portrait of the person. Okay. The one last thing before, because it's video become very big, I want to show you it is specifications on the versions. And remember before, if we go to settings, I tell we can right here modify what versions of mid journey or we want to use. You don't necessarily need to go and change all the time. You can do all of these options that you see here, modify through command line, they will use it just for this one image, but after they will revert to back your basic settings. So if we're going here and we tape ice queen, let's do without image in this case. 
or we can do with image okay let's go try with image so right here so we'll do imagine we can do same image ice queen and then this time i'll type 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 v for the version and i'll want to use it even version three of mid journey so it will be quite a bit old and you can see it start rendering and you can also combine for example let's go say a spectral show two by three and we go niji okay we'll go version niji 5 so in this case we can specify notice if i make some mistake it's come and says hey it's a wrong argument and this is because you not always can remember this that way it's much nicer if you have your documentation going down here and for example on the versions you can say hmm, what i did wrong oh right here i can specify versions one two three but if i want to use it niji it's a specific alternative model so i need to actually specify dash dash ninja not just version ninja so this is the reason it's very handy to have it manual open as a reference so in this case i'm just going to type ice queen same here and instead version i'll just type niji so to follow the instructions that was giving also right here i think our version 3 is completed and you can see it's actually a huge difference. It's kind of very interesting actually going to all different versions and see the progress of mid journey from version one and up to 5.1. You can see how big different it was made. Okay, and right here we have our render. Notice the aspect ratio two by three. Actually, I did a vertical instead horizontal. So I should actually done three by two in this case. And same like right here, I have a two by three. So let's go vertical instead of horizontal, but it's still working okay for us. And this is with anime style, Niji. And this is a mid journey 5.1 style. So you can see how the interesting different and stylization you was using. And if you want to look at all your work you render, be sure to go to midjourney.com home. And this is, you can see your own gallery of the images. Sometimes take a little bit time, about five minutes to refresh from your last render to appear in gallery. But this is the best place to go because this way you can go click on an image. You can download it multiple image. You can download a single image. You can go and see, copy the prompts, what you was using. So you can reuse those prompts, much easy way to use it. As well, you can even from there, you can go directly and says i want to open this image in discord so in this case you'll go to that feed where you was creating this image directly like right here and you can also continue from there to make variations or other elements if you need it it is a lot of to the mid journey it is very powerful applications online and it's creating very stunning images Many other services come closer to the quality, but I think Midjourney is still holding as a leadership in the quality of AI generated images. And we have much more to explore. So if you like this video, go follow my channel, subscribe and look on many videos. I have over 2000 videos. I have a lot of images related to Midjourney on multiple different subjects. So if you want specifically how to do portraits, photos, how to do anime, how to do illustrations or other things you'll find in this channel.